Hi, I'm Matt Cole. Welcome to another episode of The Hub Show. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about your ride ending mechanicals, favourite bike shoes, bike choices and a few more gems. Let's get stuck in. Question number one, numero uno. How often do you wash your bike? 2,100 votes on this bad boy. And the options were, after each ride, every week, every month, a few times a year, and I never wash my bike. And this is what you told us. 35% of you wash your bike after each ride. 25% of you wash your bike every week. 21% of you, dirty, wash it every month. 14% a few times a year, and 4% I never wash my bike. Now, uh, I'll start with me. I wash my bike after every ride. Yeah, pretty much after every ride now. After I watched a GCN um, video with Simon Richardson saying it's way easier just to get your bike out of the car or go straight round to the hose pipe. Get your stuff out, give it a quick wash. It's way easier to do that than fart about every month and give it a big deep clean. So that's what I do. Get the thing out, hose it down, spray it down, hose it down, give it a little brush, give it a little lube, done. Let's see what you've said in the comments. Rico Dvorsky says, depends on the conditions, but if it's muddy like it is now, pretty much after every ride. Good point, Rico. I guess if it's nice and dusty, you don't have to uh, clean your bike so often. Mark C. Oz says, washed after every muddy ride, brushed down after every dusty ride. There you go, we got a dusty rider. Otherwise, washed every couple of weeks. Okay, that's fair. Patricia says, if it's real dirty, I wash it the same day, but if we just went for a paved ride, I don't. Nice one, Patricia. Cheers for joining in. Curtis FR says, every day she has a once over, but every Sunday she gets the full shebang. Oh, I like the sound of that, the full shebang on a Sunday. Starsky83, how often should you wash your bike? I wash my bike recently. Oh, right, this is a question. He's asking. We've asked him or her a question, and they're asking a question back. How often should you wash your bike? I washed my bike recently, which I don't normally do, and now it seems that my dropper post, shock, and fork are not lubed properly anymore. I used low-pressure water and tried to avoid those areas, but obviously not enough. Starsky, Head over to our how-to page on the recently relaunched Hub website where we've got a video on how to clean your bike. To wrap this one up, Scotty Pink says, after every super muddy ride, don't need that chain rusting away. Good lad! The next question was a really good one. Have you bought a new bike this year? And the options were, yes I have, no I haven't, not yet, but I plan to. Really excited to see what you've said here. 52% of you lucky ducks have bought a new bike this year. 38% of you haven't. 10% of you haven't bought one yet, but plan to. So I'm interested to see what you're all saying about this. Charlie Wilson says, took up mountain biking during lockdown. Yes, Charlie. I went for the caliber boss nut after much research. Few upgrades so far, including grips, pedals and drop a seat post and absolutely loving it. Megan says, pick myself up a 2019 S-Works Stumpy. Carlos says, I got a 2021 Commensal Meta HT AM ride, long name, and I also installed some sick oil slick pedals and grips and added a drop a seat post. We would love to see that, Carlos. Maybe um, tag us on Instagram. Um, George says, built a Santa Cruz Bronson and bought a cat Comensal Absolute. You treated yourself this year, didn't you, George? Andy Vickers says, I bought a nuke-proof Scout race and then started upgrading, lol. Only original parts are the wheels and the frame. Always the way, Andy. Charlie says, I'm planning on buying a modern downhill or enduro bike. Let us know what you get, Charlie. And to finish off, Kurt B says, Nuke Proof Scout 290 frame, Vitas Mythique, and a Scout 275 race. I'm assuming that's what you've got in your wish list. Let us know what you get. Next question was, what kind of mountain bike do you primarily use? And this was big, with 2,600 votes so far. These were the options. Hardtail, full suspension, e-bike, fully rigid, depends. 
This is what you're riding. 44% of you a hard tail. 50% of you full suspension. Only 3% of you e-bike. 1% fully rigid. 1% depends. What kind of mountain bike do you primarily use? Me, full suspension. Um, yeah, I got, I got to say, I love it. I love a full suspension. A little bit lazy. You can just plow through everything. But this is what you've been saying. Gregor Horn. I go between a full sus enduro, hardtail dirt jump, and a 24-inch trials bike. Good selection there, Gregor. Charlie Roberts says, I go between a downhill bike, hardtail, when I'm going out for treks, and a 20-inch trials bike. Yeah, great selection here. Shane says, hardtail never fails. Chug MTB novice. I only have a hardtail at the moment. I sneak a go on a wife's full sus e-bike whenever I can, though. Yes, Chug MTB. Sean Wise says, well, since COVID interrupted my driving lessons and the rear hub on my dirt jump bike exploded, I'm stuck using my downhill on a tiny flat trail 30 minutes away. Not the best. Oof, that does sound rough, but I bet you're getting your legs a good uh, workout. Ginger, Liam, Le Liam, eventually going to get a full sus trail bike when I get a bit better. My skills warrant the upgrade from my hardtail. Loving all the hardtails here. And Douglas Young says, I still take the fat bike out when things get sloppy. You don't hear much about fat bikes these days. Have you got a fat bike? Let us know down in the comment section below which fat bike you ride in. Nikolai Super says, E hardtail. Trek in, Giant Explore, E plus one, 2020, catchy. Or my trusted jump bike, a Klube, a Klube? A Cube Flying Circus, 2020. Love both of them like my children. Oh, I can feel the love from here. And to finish off, Alex Tokmakov says, usually my dirt jumper or my revel rascal. Yes, Alex. On to the next one. Have you ever experienced a ride ending mechanical? The options are yes, what happened? Thankfully, no. Fingers crossed it never happens to me. 67% of you said yes, 33% thankfully no. Ride ending mechanical. Um, I think my worst one has been in Avon Argoid years ago before it was like a big trail centre. And I was probably the furthest away from the car I could have been. Um, and the rear mech just twisted itself up. Uh, the mech hanger broke and I had to walk all the way home. Not fun. Would not recommend. But this is what you've been saying more interestingly. Joshua says, I was riding with a friend and his derailleur got caught in the spokes and bent the derailleur. I also had mud logged in my brakes and fork V brakes. Yeah, I feel you there, Joshua. MTB Andy says, derailleur, oh, the derailleur hangers. Oh, oh, the derailleur hangers. MTB Andy, derailleur hanger snapped and that was the one ride I didn't bring a spare. Always the way. Sylvain says, pulley fell, ah, oh, the derailleur. There's a common theme. Pulley fell off the derailleur, chain caught in the cassette sideways and bent cassette. Bent cassette. Blimey. Must have been some force. Gregor Horn says, I drove two hours to a bike park, cycled half the length of the car park <laughs> as my chain snapped. Didn't have any tools, my own unpreparedness, I know. It was early on a weekday with no other riders around. Solution, bike back in the boot, two hour drive home. TLDR, I'm an idiot who didn't carry tools. Took my bike, <laughs> took my bike for a nice drive. Ah, oh, Gregor. I once turned up uh, for a ride, got the bike out of the car, to realise I'd left my uh, saddle and seat post at home before the days of drop the post and yeah, just left everything. So yeah, again, total waste of time. Federico says, in five years of riding, four times this happened to me. Snap chain, pedal came off the axle, hub exploded inside, chain came off the cheese plate into the spokes, trashing a few spokes. That sounds like a right old gutter. And to finish this one off, Laura Clayton, Cheers for getting involved, Laura, says, my bottom bracket failed and I was about seven miles from home. It was a long walk, but no rain, luckily. I guess it could have been worse. Glad you're okay though, Laura, to tell the tale. On to the next one, baby. <laughs> this is a good one. 
What brand of shoe do you wear for mountain biking? And the options were 510, Northwave, Shimano, Layat or other. Seems like we should have had more options. 49% of you wear 510, 3% of you wear Northwave, 12% of you wear Shimano, 1% Layat, 35% other. What brand of shoe do I wear? I all hear you shout at the screen. Um, I've worn a mix of Shima mainly Shimano 510 and Northwave. Got a lovely pair of Northwave winter boots for this awful weather that we're currently having. Nice and warm and waterproof. Uh, who cares about me? Gregor Horn, that's the man we care about. Says, I have always worn Vans. The waffle pattern on the sole is perfect for the pins on flat pedals. Interesting, Gregor. How, um, um, how long do they last? Passion MTB says, I just wear my running shoes. They aren't the best, but they could be worse. Fair. But it would be cool to get your feedback on your first try of a uh, MTB specific pair of shoes. Catherine says, I wear a random pair of battered trainers. Don't have the money for proper mountain bike shoes. Oh, sad. Neil, small violin, please. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. This is serious. Logan Bingham says, I always wear Vans. They are comfortable and have great grip with flat pedals. Uh, Chug MTB Novice says, Ride Concepts Wildcats. Absolutely love them. Highly recommend them. Yes, I've heard good things about the Ride Concept shoes. Gerard Cox says, Ride Concepts. I love them. They dry out overnight. Plenty of grip and importantly... We're available. High demand at the moment for mountain bike shoes. Dave Dangerous. Dangerous Dave is on the scene. I use the Canva Sleuth, 510 Sleuth, in the summer and the 510 Trail Cross for the winter. Both excellent and comfortable. Yes, a lot of love for the Trail Cross at the moment. Which Trail Cross though? The XT or the Mid Pro? Let us know in the comments section below. Dudink10 says, absolutely criminal. You don't include ride concepts from the get go. Criminal's a little bit over the top, but the next time we ask about mountain bike shoes, we'll include them. Jeremy says, I've worn Etni since back in my BMX days, so I stuck with them into mountain bike riding. Nice one, Jeremy. Laura Clayton again, nice one, Laura, says, I got a pair of Muddy Fox in a sale recently. They're decent like, kept my feet dry, and I wanted a trail trainer for my SPDs. Nice one, Laura. To finish off, Charlie Wilson says, 510 Impact Pro Troily Designs Edition. They're super grippy, tough, and good in the wet and slop too. They sound like a cracking pair of shoes, Charlie. Cheers. There you go, there's another episode of The Hub Show done. If you want to answer this week's questions, we've put links down in the description below. To get involved in next week's show, just head to the Community tab over on our YouTube channel. Goodbye. We're going to be talking about riding in mechanic. Riding in mechanic. We're going to be talking about riding in mechanic. <laughs> There's links down below in the description. In the description. Ah, oh, that should be on sale, shouldn't it? Cheers for getting involved in this bad boy. <laughs>